We want to use the method of proof by induction to prove that four to the power of n minus one is a multiple of three for all natural numbers n. Remember our textbook includes zero as a natural number. Some sources don't include zero as a natural number. To begin the proof, for each n, let p of n be the statement four to the power of n minus one is a multiple of three. We begin by considering the base case, where again, because in our text zero is a natural number, we consider p of zero. If your text doesn't include zero as a natural number, you would consider p of one. p of zero is true because four to the power of zero minus one is one minus one, which is zero, and zero times three is zero, showing that zero is a multiple of three. Notice p of one would be four to the power of one minus one, which is three, and of course three is also a multiple of three. And now we consider the inductive case where we let k be a natural number, and we assume p of k is true, which means four to the power of k minus one is a multiple of three. Well, if four to the power of k minus one is a multiple of three, then four to the power of k minus one must equal three times j, where j is some integer. From here, if we add one to both sides of the equation, we have four to the power of k equals three j plus one. And now we need to show that p of the quantity k plus one is true, meaning four to the power of k plus one minus one is a multiple of three. Well, four to the power of k plus one has one more factor of four than four to the power of k. Our next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by four. Multiplying on the left side of the equation, four to the power of k times four is equal to four to the power of k plus one. On the right side of the equation, distributing four, we have 12j plus four. And now we need to write the left side of the equation in the form of four to the power of k plus one minus one, which means our next step is to subtract one from both sides of the equation. This gives us four to the power of k plus one minus one equals 12j plus three. And now notice the right side of the equation has a common factor of three. We can write the right side of the equation as three times the quantity four j plus one. And since four to the power of k plus one minus one is equal to three times the quantity four j plus one, four to the power of k plus one minus one is a multiple of three with the integer of four j plus one. Thus, p of the quantity k plus one is true, completing the inductive case. Therefore, by mathematical induction, the statement p of n is true for all natural numbers n. I hope you found this helpful.